alcohol is a very bad drug for violence. 50% of people who are murdered are drunk. And 50% of the people who murder them are drunk. And that's true for almost every violent crime. In fact, if you eliminated alcohol, you'd eliminate most interpersonal violence. Look, I, I find that this is kind of an interesting topic because I, I think it's interesting that alcohol is legal. Mm -hmm. And yet, you know, you get, you, you do terrible things sometimes. You probably couldn't, um, you probably like, couldn't have made any, uh, a worse drug legal. Right. By, from an epidemiological perspective. On the other hand, you have marijuana or um, uh, psilocybin or uh, LSD even or some of these other drugs and they make you thirsty, <laughs> make you laugh, and you wake up feeling fine. I find it really fascinating that alcohol is the illegal one. How did that ever happen that that, or is the legal one? How did, why does our system I think work? it probably happened because it was so easy to make and it was just everywhere. So right, because all you really have to do is put barley in water and you get beer, right? So it was really easy to make and at sure. least in many societies it's been around for a very long time. And so it became legal just because, well, back in the Middle Ages, people drank alcohol, not water, because all the water was polluted. Right, right. Right, so, so that's the reason, but it certainly wasn't a consequence of evaluating the drugs by their comparative risk and rank ordering them and making, you know, the least harmful legal. It wasn't that at all because alcohol is unbelievably dangerous. Stop drinking too much. How do you know if you're drinking too much? Um, you regret what you do when you're drinking. It's, it's interfering with other important goals. It's, it's causing you financial distress. It's getting you in trouble with your friends or your family. It's getting you in trouble with the police. Okay, so stop abusing substances if you can, right? If you see that they're um, hurting you.